Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Starfire from Teen Titans Go on the Rainbow Loom. As you can see, she has hair, long pink hair all the way down the back. She has her side hair and some bangs and big, beautiful green eyes. I used beads for this one. It's a glass beads that you would find on in a jewelry store, like a craft store. And I used dark gray for the arms, green for the little embellishments, and from the Sweets collection, purple. You can use anything you'd like, and also this is the Camel Pack Tan that I used as her skin tone color. You can use the regular skin tone color too. But I think she came out gorgeous, and the hair extends all the way to the back. And I also made one with a different hair. It's like a more of a satiny color and with rubber band eyes. And I also did electric purple glow for the arms and the waist and everything. And then deep purple for the outfit. So you can do different shades of purple or you can do the gray with the um, purple whatever coloration you'd like and you can use bands for the eyes or beads for the eyes and I wanted to say one more thing I had one that I made with the big pony beads these are too big I really think that it's gonna make her face a little bit um, different looking so the beads that I used was just this regular it's a glass bead and it's smaller than the pony bead so anything that's smaller than this big pony bead, I think will work really good with her face. And you can do a, a small pony bead, like a mini pony bead, and that will work also. Or you can just use bands. Okay, so let's get started and make Starfire. Okay, so first we're going to make her arms on the loom, and then you need either an extra hook or pencil to place the arms on. And we're also going to make the legs. And then we'll make the face, and there's a little side extension for the hair. And the back of the hair is actually separate, and I actually sewed it onto her head. And I think it really came out really gorgeous. I love this charm. So let's get started, and we're going to make her arms first. So you need your skin tone, and it's a double band. Okay, just from this pin to this pin. And then another double of the skin tone. And now I'm going to use gray. I'm going to actually, I'm going to make this one on the Rainbow Loom. And instead of using like the emerald green bands, I'm going to use spearmint um, from the Sweets collection. So that will really pop out too. And I'm going to use bands for her eyes. So, okay, so two stitches of the skin tone. Then we're going to go into gray, and once again, you can use a different color if you don't want to use gray or if you don't have gray. Okay, so one from here to here, then another double from here to here, then we're going to go another set here, and these are all doubles. And then another one from here to here. Okay, then we'll go into the hands. And it's going to be a double of the skin tone. And then the capping band will be a single wrap three times around. So one, two, and three. Let me do it again. Okay, and now the little green embellishment. You can do any color you want for this too, but I'm going to do the spearmint. So it's going to be a single, wrapped on your hook four times. One, two, three, four. Then get the color, the gray of this part of her arm. Single, twist upon itself, and then place it on the hook and slide the green on there. 
slide it in the middle, and then we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. Okay, now we get to loom. So we're going to grab the skin tone first. Then we're going to grab this gray and forward. And then we're going to grab this gray. Okay, now the left side. I'm going to grab this left gray. Then this one. And now this skin tone. Okay, so that's one arm. Take it off the loom. And you can stretch this out so the green shows. And then we're going to place it on your spare hook or your pencil just to be used for later. Okay, so there's one. We're going to repeat and make another arm. So you need another skin tone. Double. Then another double. And go into your gray. And then from this pen to this pen. And then connect from here to here. And then we're finally going to connect these two. Okay, double of the skin tone, then a single wrap three times, one, two, and three. Okay, now my green wrap four times, one, two, three, and four, then a single of the gray, twist upon itself, place it on the hook, slide, and place it right here. Okay, now we can loom. I'm going to loom this one first, then this gray. Okay, we're going to stop and then go back to this gray on the bottom. into the skin tone. You need to take it off. Okay, here's your second arm. Make sure the the green shows. And we'll slide it on here. Okay, so that's two arms. So now we're going to go and do the legs. Okay, we're going into, I made the top of the leg the um, dress color. So I'm going to do the, go into purple now. This is um, from the Sweets Collection Purple. And you're going to you need a double. You place it on the loom like that. Now the skin tones. Double of skin tone, another of the skin tone. Now where the boots are going to be the purple, so it's going to be a double. I'm going to make it just like the arms. So from here to here is the double of the purple. Then we're going to do another double from this pin to this pin. It's going to be three sets of this. So this is the first. Then from here to here. And then from here to here. And then another set of purple. Okay, 
Okay, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now the bottom of the boot is going to be my gray. So it's going to be a double of the gray. And it's going to go on this pin, and you wrap it two times. So one, and two. It's your capping band. Push these down. We're going to take another purple, single twist, and place it on these two pins, then another single twist, and place it on these two pins. Okay, and that is one boot with a lick. So now we're going to loom, and we're looming this purple first. Okay, then we're going to loom the right side. Go all the way up to this pin. Now we're going to go back down here and loom forward. And now the skin tone. And now the purple. And you can put your finger here and then take this one off the loom. Okay, stretch it out. And that is your boot. And you can move the bands off the bottom to the sides. And we're going to place that on our hook. Okay, we're going to make another one now. Okay, same purple, double. Then two sets of skin tone, double. And now we're going into the purple boot. So double. And then from the side. We make three. So one, two. Three. Okay, so now the gray two and wrap two times around. Okay, single purple twist upon itself. Single purple twist upon itself. And now we can loom. We're gonna grab this one first this time. Whatever the top band is. Okay, so we're grabbing this one. And just looming forward. Okay, now back down here, I'm going to grab that left one. Just looming it forward. Now we're going into skin tones. Okay, we can take this one off the loom. Okay, stretch it out. Bring out that gray, and this is one leg. Okay, you can place that here. Okay, so now we're done with the legs and the arms. We're going to work with the head now. 
Okay, so now you need skin tone. Everything is double bands. And you're going to place it from the top, from this pin to this pin, and then from this pin to this one. It's a basic head design. I tried many different designs for her head, and I think this one is the most easiest and the most simplest. So, from this pin to this pin, it's going to be three stitches long. Okay, now we'll work on the side of the head. And connect these two bands. Then we'll do the same with the left side. And from this pin to this pin. So that's her head. Now we need a triple for her neck. So a triple skin tone. So three from this pin to this pin. Okay, so now the top is like a necklace area. So we're gonna use a gray for that one. And it's going to be from this pin to this pin. You know, I'm going to change it to here. So from here to here. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Just grabbing the bands. And then the middle. Okay, so then that's the little collar area. I'm going to keep her here so you can see what I'm doing. Now we're going to purple. So a double purple. And then another double right here. And then another double right here. Okay, now we're going to skin tone. Double skin tone. And now the little purple skirt. Going into purple now. Okay, so we have one set of purple, and now we're going to do another set of purple. And then one more right here. Okay, so now we're going to make the little side of the skirt. It's going to be a single, placed on the hook, and wrapped four times around. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to take a double and bring that in the middle, bring it back on the hook, and we're going to place it right here. But you know what, I'm going to wait on that one. I'm going to place the legs first on that. So meanwhile, just save this on your little hook, and then we'll make another one too. So single, wrap four times, one, two, three and four, then a double, and then bring it back on there, and we're just going to save it right here. Okay, we'll be using these parts soon. So now we need to attach the legs. So we're going to I'm going to take these off. I need my legs now. 
and we're going to place it on the hook. Take another double of the purple, slide the leg on there, and then we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, and now we're going to place this on top of here. So you can place it back on your hook, and then place it on this pin. Okay. I just want to make everything perfect. Okay, so now we need this leg. Place it on your hook. Grab another double purple. Slide that on, and then we're going to place it right here. Okay. Then we're going to grab our purple from here and place it on this pin. to the side. Okay, you need a capping band here. It's going to be a single of the purple wrapped three times around. One, two, three. And now we can work with the arms. I'm going to push this down and the arms are going to be right here. Okay, so now we're going to do structural bands for her outfit. You're going to need a single purple, and we're just going to make a triangle. Okay, then we're going to do another single purple triangle, and now you need a skin tone. And it's going to be a single twist upon itself, and make another triangle. Okay, now we're going to make another single twist upon itself, and right here. Okay, and this is your basic layout for the dress area. And afterwards, we're going to embellish it with the, the belt, and above the boot, put some, another band. So now the face. We're going to make the eyes first, and she has big, beautiful green eyes. If you want to use the same green that you're using here, you can use that. But I'm going to change it up and do um, the neon green so we get more powerful. And you can use the beads. And remember the perler beads, I mean not the perler, um, the big pony beads, they're not really, I think they're a little bit too big. So you got to do the mini pony beads or a nice smaller bead of green and that will work out nice. So first you're going to take a double of the green, and she has big eyes. You're going to place it on the hook, bring it around, so you make a little figure eight, then bring it around again. Okay, or you can just wrap it around four times. So same thing. So we're going to make a little figure eight, just like that, and wrap it around again. So these are double bands. So a little, it's a little bit bigger. Then you take a single of your skin tone and slide the eyes on the skin tone. Okay, another one. And then we're going to place on these two pins and then bring the eyes underneath. Just like that. So you have this hanging underneath this pin. Okay, so now you need a single skin tone. Wrap, twist it upon itself. And then we're going to place a triangle from these three pins right here. So 
a little structural band. Okay, so now we're going to work with the hair. We're going to first make these little side hair on her, and it's going to be pink. You can do pink from the Sweets collection. You can do regular pink like I'm doing. You can even do red if you want. Anything that resembles Starfire's hair. So it's going to be single, wrapped on the hook four times. Then we're going to take another single and slide that on there right in the middle, then another single, we're going to do four singles total. Two, three, and four. Okay, you can place that here. And then we're going to do another set. So one, two, three, and four. And then four singles. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so these are the little side hair that she has. And now we're going to make the side of her head with pink. It's going to be a single. Three times on the hook. Then a double. And then place that on there. And then we're going to keep this like this. And we're going to take the little side hair. It's a single. And we're going to place it right through here. So it's laying on there and then we're going to place this back on the hook so it looks like this. Okay? And then we're going to do three more of the double. So here's number two. Number three. And number four. Okay, so that's the side of the head. Now we're not going to attach this yet. We're only going to attach this bottom part, which is going to be right here. This little capping band is going to be placed right here. So you have three right here, this little capping band. And we're going to just keep it to the side, just like that. So then we're going to work on the right side. Take this off. And it's going to be a single. One, two, three. Then a double. And we'll stop right there. And then we're going to grab this. I'm just going to place it right on there and bring this back on here. So it looks like that. Then three more stitches of the double. Two, and here's number three, and number four. So four stitches total. Okay, so you have four here of the single, then a little cap and band, and then four here. Now, I want the side of the hair facing this way, on the right side. So I'm going to flip this over, and then bring my capping band on there. So the hair is going down like this, and on this side it's going down. And then we'll just leave it like that. And you're going to need one more green band for this little neck area. So when we start looming, I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, so this is your how it's supposed to look. Make sure yours looks like this. And let's start looming.
Okay, so our top band is going to be this one right here. It's going to be this purple right down here. So there's going to be a capping band right here. I'm going to go underneath and grab the right band. And bring it to the right. Now our next band is this one on the left. And bring it to the left. Then we're going to grab this middle one. I'm going to loom forward the middle. I'm going to stop at the purple. So now she has the, um, the green. It's going to be a single. You can put beads with this too. So it's wrapped four times around. So one, two, three and four. Then you take the gray and slide the green on top of it. And then connect right here. Okay, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna bring that up after. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna loom this after. Just keep it like this for now. You can keep it like this or bring it back over here. And now we're going to loom the sides. And then I want this to be underneath this part. Because on this, it's um, above. And I think it looks prettier that way. Okay, so now, here's the purple. We're not looming anything here. We're just looming the bottom purple. And if this is coming apart, you can just put this back on top of here until we're done. So, just the purple on the bottom. And looming forward. Okay, now the side gray. And we're stopping right there. And now the left side. Remember, just the bottom purple. Now this side gray. And now I want this gray in the middle. On top. And now the triple of the skin tone. Let me make sure I got everybody. It didn't. There's one there. Okay, so now uh, we are doing the face, and it's going to be this band right here on the left. I'm just going to bring it to the left. I'm missing one. And now we loom the right side. And now the middle. Middle, we're just going to loom all the way up to the forehead. Okay, and stop. Now the side of the head. I'm going to go underneath and just grab the skin tone at the bottom. And then the left. Bring this to the left middle. And now the left side. Okay, so now the hair. I want the hair all the way around. So we're going to grab our, the ends of this extension. Bring it all the way around and bring it on this pin. Okay, 
you can push this down and then we're going to do the same on this side. Okay, and bring it to the middle. Okay, so this is how she looks. So you have the hair coming out from the side. And then after we take this off the loom, I'm going to show you how to make the back of the hair and sew it to the front and the little details of the front of her too. So you, now you need a double of the pink and we're going to make a little slip knot. Place it through. Okay, make your slip knot. And now you can take her off the loom. I'm going to go slowly, so not to break anything. Okay, now this is thick over here because it has an extension. to the side. Take your hook out. Now her eyes are hiding, so I want them right in the top. Right there. Big, beautiful eyes. You see the hair goes right around the face, and her body looks perfect. Stretch everything out. The little skirt, you can bring it down so it's like one piece. You can just tug on this band on the right and I'll bring it down. And we are almost done with Starfire. So this is how she looks. I think she came out really nice. And now I'm going to show you how to make the hair on the back. It's really easy and we're going to sew it to the back of the head. And then we'll do the little embellishments after. Okay, so let's put her over here. And then we'll go back to the loom. It's very easy. And they're all singles. We're just doing a simple um, triple single going all the way down. So single of pink and going all the way down. We, my family and I, we love this TV show. We watch it every day, a couple times a day. <laughs> and uh, we actually watched it um, before it went to Teen Titans Go with the original Teen Titans. So we have a history with this show, and I just love how this Starfire came out. I'm going to work on the other Teen Titans also. So, and I'm going to try to uh, make a tutorial for Silky. That's Starfire's pet. You can have a silky and a starfire. And we're just working our way down with these singles. Now the left. Still working our way down. Okay, 
one more. Now the structural bands are just going to be a single and we'll start at the top. Single triangles. Working our way down. And one more. Okay, so the capping band will be single wrap four times around. One, two, three, and four. Oops. Let me do it again. So now, very easy, we're just going to loom everything forward. Push these down. It's very easy to sew this to the back of the head also. Oops, sorry. Okay, stop. Now we'll do the middle. Finally, the left side. Still moving forward. Okay, so now I take a double of the pink again, and we're going to just take put this on the hook, take it off the loom. Okay, we don't need the loom anymore. Now you're going to slide this on the double. Then you're going to make a little slip knot. Okay, and this is the back of her hair. So you can stretch it out. Looks pretty cool. And now we're going to sew it on the back of our hair just like that. So first I'm going to actually place my hook right through this little knot that we made before. Or you can place it through anything and we're just going to bring it right through. 
nice tight so you don't lose it. And we're going to use these as the first little thread to sew this all together and that's going to make it more secure on the back of the head also. So I'll show you really quickly. It's very easy. So you're going to bring it over, make this tight, and what I'm going to do is there's a stitch right here. Right here is the first pink stitch and I'm going to place my hook right underneath it. Then I'm going to go to this pink stitch of the back of the hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right on the hook and bring it through. Okay, so that's one stitch we sewed. Then we're going to go to the next. Just like that. And you're going to bring it through again. So now I ran out of my little thread. And I'm going to get a single. I'm going to make a little slip knot with this. Make a little knot. So I just added more thread to my sewing. So then we're going to go to the next stitch on her pink hair. And then bring it through. We're just sewing it shut. So then I'm finally at the bottom, that little capping band. I have my hook through both the hair and the capping band. Bring it through. And now I need a C clip. Okay, so I have my trusty C clip, and I'm just going to clip it right here so I don't lose it within the hair. So we're going to keep this right here, and then we're going to sew the other side shut, and then we're going to bring the C clips together, the C clip together with the other side, and then hide it underneath the hair. So here's my next one, and I'm going to. So her shut, this shut. So I'm going to go through the first stitch and then find that first stitch on the head. Bring my little thread through. Okay, so now I go to the next stitch. And then bring my thread. Okay, so now I want to make another little extension of the thread. Single. And then make a little slip knot. Okay, and then we'll go to the next. And then we'll bring our thread through. So now let's see where we are. I'm going to go through the bottom part now, the little capping band area. And hide that little knot too. And now I just want to hide it underneath. And you take your C clip from before and just bring that on there, attach it like that. Sorry about the noises. Underneath her head. And you have it sewed. So now she's almost done. You can stretch it out and she has long, beautiful hair. So now, let me fix the eyes. I want to make the little eyebrows. Eyebrows are easy. It's just a single, and I'm going to 
place my hook right through the little eyebrow area right here. Bring it through. You know, I'm going to do it a little bit more easier. There's a stitch right here. Bring your hook right underneath it. Just like that. Then you take your little eyebrow. And you can do it this way. And then in the back, find it again and just pull. So it's a little shorter. So the eyebrow is a little shorter. So it looks just like that. So you have little short eyebrows there. And now the little bangs. Very easy, you just need two pink bands. I'm going wherever you want to put the little bangs. I'm going to place mine. I'm going to bring that hair up a little bit. Right here, there's two stitches of pink, the top two stitches. Place your hook underneath these two bands. Then you take your single, place it underneath, bring the other end right back on there, and you're just going to bring it under to make a little slip knot, pull, and you have a little bang. It goes to the side. And then we're going to go right here, same thing, these two little bands, take our single, Make a little slip knot, bring it under, and pull. And you have a bang. Now you can move the bangs around. You can twist them, like curl them, and it'll face down if they're not cooperating with you. But that's what, see this one's coming up a little bit? So if you just move the band a little bit, like go like this with your finger, it'll go down and go toward the head. Okay, and this is your starfire. And you have two bangs coming down. The big beautiful eyes, the eyebrows, bring the hair in the front, and the belt. We have to do the belt too. And the little legs. So, but we did the hard part. This is easy. Single of the gray. Twist it upon itself. Place it right above the purple. Grab another single of the gray. Twist it. Place it above the purple. Now her little belt. I made it really easy. You can also, if you want, just two doubles and place it on there, but I did um, oh, two bands on this side, and then another two bands, so four total. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have two bands on this side, two bands on this side. Place your band just like this. Then, so it looks like, like that. Then I'm gonna grab this band right here. And it intertwines like that. So I'm gonna show you one more time with a single band. So I just did two. And you put, just put the little intertwine right in the middle. So I'll show you one more time how to do that. We used to do this with like bracelets when I was young. This is a single and a single, but I like to make them a little bit thicker. So you place your bands like this, go like this, then grab it like that, and you have it. If you can't do that, just take a double and place it right there. That's your belt. Okay, so this is Starfire. I really love how she came out. I hope you do too. And remember, you can bring the green out a little bit. Bring the green out. 
and fix her up. She looks gorgeous. So please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Lovely Lovebird Designs.